Hello friends, Andy's here and you're watching InfoTech channel. Let's talk about slow motion effect, especially if you use Apple products such as iPhone or iPad to record or edit your material. You see, initially you think that it's a good idea to use slow-mo effect in your video when you record with your iPhone, but then when you start using editing software and compiling video together, you may change your mind, right? And you want to get rid of this slow motion uh, effect. Or let's say you recorded in slow motion by mistake, which I did recently, and then I spent hours trying to get rid of it using my editing software. And although it's possible to get rid of slow motion using editing software on your iPad, there are still issues. Let me show you what I mean. So here is a video that I want to play and it's recorded with slow motion and then I airdropped that video from iPhone to iPad. Now here is what's happening. If I play it, it's not in slow motion right away. It typically gives you a head start before it uh, takes effect like this. Boom, you see? So it was a split second before it goes into slow motion. Now, if I try to upload this video to my editing software, let's say uh, this one, I'm using InShot, I want to create new video. I picked this video with uh, the uh, soccer ball. Um, and you see it's uploading pretty uh, for, for a long time, longer than usual, indicating that it's not a normal format. It's a slow motion, which is like four times bigger. So now I have it in my editing software in shot. And if I try to play it, of course it will go into slow motion. I can actually fix it by changing the speed right here, speed on my um, iPad and move it exactly four times faster, four times. 4.0 and uh, then do not hit original pitch because you want to change the pitch here it will be normal audio and normal video except in the beginning and in the end it will speed up because you see slow motion effect is not starting from very beginning and not not ending in the end right so there are always a little portions in the front and in the back of your video that are in normal speed so they will be you see glitching when you speak again it will change the pitch of, of your voice so doing it uh, via editing software is not a good way to go you have to come back to your original video on ipad or iphone and remove slow motion effect. Let me show you how it's done. All right, I'm back to the video I showed you in the beginning. It's in slow motion and I want to remove that effect. You go to edit right above the video, right top corner, click edit. And you see underneath the actual video that you can make like shorter, right? Or longer and trim it. Uh, there is another smaller bar with two edges, this one beginning of slow motion and this one end of slow motion. So first of all, you can move your slow-mo part closer to the end of the video, closer to the beginning, starting from a specific place where you want it to take effect, or simply pick the left bar with your fingertip and move it all the way to the back. Now slow motion effect is completely removed. By the way, you could grab the edge and move it up to the front, just the same, same effect, all right? If you want to eventually come back to the slow-mo effect, grab that edge and start moving it. If it's together, grab it and split it. All right, at some point you will have an option to split. All right, or remove it completely. That's how it's done. However, if you take a different video that was airdropped to your iPad and uh, 
it was never fixed on your iPhone side first. You open this video and click edit. You see it's in slow motion. I click edit and there is no little bar underneath that would help you fixing and removing slow motion. So in this case, you will have to go back to the original device, let's say iPhone that you used to record the video and remove slow motion in there and then try to airdrop. Now I will try to pick a video that is in slow motion and edit it. You see right here, if it's in slow-mo in this particular part, I will just remove it as I showed you on iPad. And after that, I will simply try to airdrop back to uh, my iPad and see if I can edit it in there. If it's not working, there is still another way to go. You can simply swipe from the right top corner down and try to record your screen while video is playing. First you tap record here and then you will play the actual hey everybody, video. And this here and you watch And when it's potential. recorded, the, the quality is going to be exactly the same, right? But this time, after you recorded your video, uh, recording the screen, it will remove the slow mo mark. There will be no more slow motion mark on that video. And this particular video, this particular file can be airdropped to your iPad and you will not have issues with slow motion anymore. By the way, if you swipe from the right top corner of your phone and screen recording is not there, you just simply don't see the app. Here's how you can install it among the widgets. Check this out. I hope this was helpful and now you know how to move around slow motion effect, how to get rid of it completely or how to get it back. And most importantly, how to deal with slow motion effect when you use third party editing software. That would be it for today. That was Andy and Infotech channel. Until next video, God bless and take care.